Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Ano, welcome back na naman sa panigbago na namang lecture dito sa ating kursong criminology. So today, ang pag-uusapan natin guys ay walang iba kundi ang revised penal code book 2, ano. This is a popular demand by popular demand, ano. Maraming nagre-request sa atin na mag-lecture tayo on book 2. Siguro naninibago kayo, but iba na yung bosses. Actually, I was not the one who conducted the lecture on criminal law book 1, ano. That was one of our colleague doon sa department natin sa criminal Criminology. So, since wala siya, no, uh, I will be taking the spot of conducting a lecture on Revised Penal Code Book 2. So, disclaimer lang, ano, we're not going to be talking about the entirety of the Book 2. We're going to be talking about article by article. No? Kasi malawak ang saklaw ng Book 2 natin. You know, Book 2 is uh, like the manual. If you're looking for a crime... No, kung anong crime yung certain act, kung anong uh, pwedeng isang pangkaso, dyan ka mag-refer sa book 2. So, malawak siya. That's why, sabi ko nga, we're not going to be talking about them in one go. No? So, today, ang pag-uusapan lang natin is Article 114 until Article 116. And those are, ito yung topic natin, Article 114 talks about the crime treason. Article 115 talks about conspiracy and proposal to commit treason and article 116 talks about misprision of treason okay so uh, let us talk about the first crime that's an article 114 no article 114 talks about treason so how did how do they define yung tinatawag nating treason treason is a crime committed by any person who owes allegiance to the government of the philippine island no yun pa lang, doon na natin makikita kung ano nga ba yung nature ng tinatawag natin crime of treason. Treason means pagtataksil sa bayan. No? Pagtataksil sa bayan. So, ito yung crime ng mga taksil sa bayan. <laughs> okay, so, uh, ano yung allegiance, by the way? Allegiance talks about katapatan. No? Pag ikaw ay isang Pilipino, uh, definitely, ikaw ay expected na magbigay ng katapatan No, sa ating bayan uh, sa ating inang bayan sa ating bansa dahil tayo ay uh, Pilipino yun ang ina-expect sa atin so kapag ikaw ay Pilipino tapos uh, ikaw ay kumampis sa mga kalaban sa kalaban nating bansa uh, during wartime no? then definitely that is already a crime of treason no? so that's number one no? Treason can be committed by any person, any person. But there are exception to this, ah, kasi baka sinabi nating any person. That means lahat ng pweding, uh, lahat ng tao pweding makomit yan. No, there are exception to this that we will be talking about under the elements of the crime treason. No, pero this is just the broad definition of the crime treason. Uh, sabi din dito, uh, any person, but not being a foreigner no hindi dapat siya foreigner sa ating bansa kaya hindi dapat siya foreigner sa ating bansa so meron yung tinatawag nating exemption to this uh, malilinawan tayo pagdating natin doon sa elements so ano yung ano yung act na mag uh, na that will equal into the act of treason no nga ba yun kasi sabi lang naman dito committed by any person who owes allegiance to the government and he levies war against the government or adheres to the enemy. Ano ang ibig sabihin niyan, guys? So ibig sabihin nito ay uh, nagdeklara ka ng gera laban sa sarili mong bansa. Tinuring mong kaaway ang sarili mong bansa in, ter- in times of war, then definitely that is a treason. That is a crime of treason, ano? Or hindi naman kaya is kumampika sa ma- sa kalaban sa kalabang bansa ng ating uh, bansa during the time of war and definitely that will also be considered as treason. Okay? Or hindi naman kaya, hindi ka nagdeklara ng uh, uh, pagkalaban uh, sa ating bansa in times of war, but then, you, you adhere to, to the enemy, to the ka- enemy country by giving them aid or comfort. No? Like, like for example, is pinatira mo sila sa sarili mo. Pinatira mo yung mga kalaban ng ating bansa uh, sa sarili mong pamamahay, binibigyan mo ng Uh, so, anong mga, ang tawag doon, mga pangangailangan nila, then definitely that is also, can, can be considered as an act of treason. Now, let's talk about them more on the elements, you know? uh, By the way, in the entirety of the lecture, you know, 
lagi mo yung matatala kay yung tinatawag nating elements, the elements of crime. Okay? So, the elements of crime qualifies a certain act to a certain crime. Masasabi lang natin, halimbawa, na crime of treason yan kung lahat ng elements are present. Like, for example, one element of the crime treason is that the offender must be a Filipino citizen. Dapat Pilip- uh, Filipino citizen yung nag-commit ng crime. No? Or hindi naman kaya, di ba, sabi doon, uh, must not be arrested, must not be a foreigner. No? So, hindi dapat siya dayuhan sa bansa natin. However, the exemption for that is even if he is a foreigner pero considered na siya as a resident alien, no? then pasok pa rin siya or kasali pa rin siya doon sa pwedeng masampahan ng act of treason in case na sila ay nag ng war or sila ay nag-adhere sa enemy. Sino ba yung mga resident alien? No? Uh, the context of uh, Revised Penal Code Book 2 was derived from was derived from uh, you know sa United States na yan kaya meron yung tinatawag nating term na resident alien which pertains to citizens na kung saan is they are considered as immigrant they are considered as foreigner however they are already listed as an official resident of of uh, the country na so kung sa United States ito yung mga tinatawag nating mga green card holder are already considered as resident alien. And uh, them, sila mismo, can be kay, uh, pwede ring sampahan ng tinatawag nating treason in case that they will commit an act that is considered as uh, treason against the state. Dito naman sa ating bansa, well, we have the term naturalized Filipino uh, citizen and natural Filipino citizen. So, if ever pasok na siya dito, considered na siya as a Filipino citizen by law, no? by naturalization, then they are also part or saklaw pa rin sila nung uh, tinatawag nating uh, resident alien. No? At kung sila, ng mga resident alien, nag-commit ng tinatawag nating treasonable act, then they can be uh, prosecuted for the crime of treason. Another elements of the crime treason, ito yung very important din to, is there must be a war. No? Dapat meron tayong kinasasangkot ang gera. No? Ang bansa natin ay nasasangkot sa isang gera or kasalukoy ang nakikipagdigma laban sa mga uh, ibang laban sa ibang bansa. This is one of the many war crimes that are listed in our Revised Penal Code Book 2. Ibig sabihin, tsaka lang makukumit ang crime ng treason kapag merong gera na kung saan ang Pilipinas ay sangkot. Okay? So let's say for example we are at war against China, no? Uh, this is uh, officially known halimbawa na talagang nakikipagdigma tayo sa bansang uh, China for our sovereignty or for for our protection what's, what's whatever the reason is and then, no? As a certain a certain person na considered as Filipino citizen or resident alien ay kumampi sa uh, sa government ng China no sa uh, nagbigay ng tulong sa government ng China then they are considered as a criminal and they will be uh, prosecuted for the crime of treason no okay so uh, that's one of the elements no there must be a war wherein the Philippine the country is uh, involved in no bago may makumit or bago tayo uh, bago meron tayong treason na tinatawag okay so that's the elements kung wala doon then definitely it may, might be another crime that we will be talking about later on kung matalakay natin mga yon pero definitely ang treason ay dapat meron itong elements na to the offender must be a Filipino citizen or a resident alien and there must be a war wherein our country is involved no war no war then definitely no crime of treason can be committed. Okay? Now, let's talk about the uh, Article 115. That's the conspiracy and proposal to commit treason. No? This is another crime listed also in Revised Penal Code Book 2 and this is one of the crime that can be considered as a war crime also. So, you can only commit this crime if we are in an active war or we are involved in a certain war against other country. Okay, so, uh, there is no specific definition of the crime, you know, yung conspiracy and proposal to commit treason, but we're going to be talking about them uh, like this. So, first, what's conspiracy anyway? Conspiracy is an act that occurs when two or more persons agree to commit a crime. No? 
kapag ang dalawang tao nagkasundo, nagagawa sila ng isang krimen, then that is conspiracy. Not all the time, conspiracy is being punished under our revised penal code. No? Hindi lahat ng crime or hindi lahat ng conspiracy ay pwedeng ipunish dito sa revised penal code natin. And uh, treason is one of the example na kung saan kahit na nagkasundo lang kayo na kayo ay magtataksil sa bayan, kayo ay kakampi sa mga kalaban, then the, it is already punishable. Other type of conspiracy are not punishable, ano? but uh, this is one of the exemption. So, that's how we define conspiracy. Ano? Two or more person agreed to commit a crime. Nagkasundo sila na sila ay magkukumit ng crime and specifically that can be treason then that is already punishable under Revised Penal Code, Book 2, Article 115. Okay? What about proposal? Proposal means an offer for consideration or acceptance. What does it mean? Ibig sabihin, yung isang tao ay uh, nagbalak na mag-commit ng crime, na mag-commit either in treason, and then he offers the proposal to a certain person. Kumbaga is uh, gusto niyang magyaya pa ng, isa, ng kasama pa niya para i-commit yung crime na, na, na plano niya or naisip niya or binalak niya. So, proposal and conspiracy is both punishable under Revised Penal Code, specifically under crime of treason. Ano? If there is a conspiracy to commit treason, that is punishable. If there is a proposal to commit treason, that is also punishable. Okay? So, let's look into... Uh, bigyan natin ng uh, example. So, for example, Pedro and uh, Juan, no? si Pedro and Juan, nagkasundo, nag-usap sila, nagkasundo sila na kumampi na lang sa kalaban kasi nga uh, natatalo na ang bansa natin laban sa kanila. Let's say, for example, China again. Ano? Si Juan at Pedro, nagkasundo no? na kumampi na lang sa China, no? kumampi na lang sa gobyerno ng China dahil nga uh, paniguradong matatalo na ang bansa natin laban sa uh, sa gerang kinakaharap natin. So that's conspiracy, ano? Nagbalak na sila at uh, they already decided, na na kakampi na lang sila sa mga Chinese soldier. So that's conspiracy and that's punishable. Conspiracy to commit treason kasi nga sabi nila kakampi na lang tayo. Natutulungan na lang natin ang mga Chinese against Philippines kasi nga sila din lang yung mananalo or mas mabuti pang mapasakamay tayo ng China kaysa uh, sa ibang bansa. Parang ganun ba? So, there's a conspiracy already. What about proposal? For example, Mr. Pedro, ano? Mr. Pedro uh, nakita niya na na wala nang laban ang bansa natin, laban sa kalaban, kaya sabi niya, siguro mas maganda na uh, kumampi na lang tayo sa kalaban dahil matatalo din lang tayo. And he decided to commit this already. Sabi niya, okay, ayain ko si Mr. Uh, uh, Mario no? para may kasama akong kakampi sa China. Okay, so there is already a proposal. Pag kinausap niya si Mario, sabi niya, oy, pare, talo na. No? Kumampi na lang tayo sa China kasi nga uh, mananalo na sila at baka sakaling mailigtas pa tayo at hindi pa tayo patayin. So whatsoever the, the conversation was, that is already a proposal. No? There is already a proposal kasi nga uh, inaaya niya yung isang tao to agree or to commit a certain crime already. Okay? So kapag si, Ped, uh, si Mario pumayag at sabi niya, sige gawin natin, then there is already a conspiracy. But for example, sabi ni Mario, nako pare, mali ang ginagawa mo. At si Mario, sinumbong niya sa kapulisan, sinumbong niya sa tamang uh, tao na dapat pagsumbungan yung sinasabi ni Pedro then definitely Pedro committed a proposal and Mario did not committed anything. Okay? Nakuha ba natin? Now let us uh, look into the elements. Ano? First, let's talk about the elements of conspiracy muna. Elements of conspiracy to commit treason or this. Number one, there must be a war. Alam na natin yan. Number two, at least two person come into agreement. At least two person. Ano? Kasi wala namang conspiracy kung iisa mo lang. Ano? Proposal pwede pa. Pero conspiracy, at least two person, nag-agree dapat sila parehas na sila ay A. They will levy a war. Ibig sabihin is uh, makikiparticipate sila actively 
into the war but in favor of the enemy so that's lev- levying war ano ibig sabihin is kakampihan mo yung uh, kalabang bansa at makikipag-participate ka sa pakikipagdigma pero sa panig ng kalaban okay or hindi naman kaya is adhere to enemy to the enemy ano kumampi na sila sa enemy uh, pwedeng hindi sila nakipag-participate directly hindi sila humawak ng baril hindi sila pumatay ng kapwa nila Pilipino but then they are adhering to the enemy sa pamamagitan ng uh, pagbibigay ng tulong pagbibigay ng assistance sa mga kalaban ng ating bansa so that is uh, the two act that must be uh, committed or agreed upon by two persons who are conspiring to commit treason and the number uh, three is number three element which is I think very important is they decided to commit it no? so dito nagkakaroon ng talo-talo tayo dito no? kasi number one how can we prove that they already decided to commit it does it need yung tinatawag nating physical action or overt act no? kailangan bang may overt act or kailang or sapat na yung uh, nasabi na nila that they are going to commit it no so this is the part that me uh, will stop uh, talking about kasi this is technical of course lawyers has their own interpretation to this and they may vary from each other but i'm not an expert to it where can we consider a person no that already had already decided to commit paano natin masabi na yung dalawang tao had already decided to commit a crime does they need to do an overt act no kailangan ba nilang merong physical action na nagawin like like for example is pumunta na sila sa mga sundalo ng China sumuko na sila doon sabi nila sa kakampi na kami sa inyo or is it enough already na kapag ay sila ay sabi na o oh, sige tara na tara na even if hindi pa sila pumunta is that enough already to prove no so that uh, will raise a lot of uh, issues now no? depending on what uh, reference are you looking at okay now uh, the next element that we will be talking about is the proposal ano yung una is conspiracy na ngayon naman is proposal paano natin masasabi that there is already a proposal to commit treason number one Another one element is, of course, we should be in war. Number two, at least one person decided to, na, nag-decide na siya, sigurado na siya, na siya ay kakampi sa kalaban, makikipagdigma laban sa ating gobyerno, pabor sa kalaban, at or siya ay tutulong sa mga kalaban sa pamamagitan ng pagbibigay ng aid or comfort. No? If he is decided already to commit that, And number three elements is that he proposes its execution to commit it. He proposes. Dapat ito yung impor- isa din sa importanteng element ito. Dapat siya ay nag-propose sa isang tao para gawin or isakatuparan yung kanyang binabalak. So, mayroon siya dapat kinausap. Oy, pare, tara na. Ano, sumama na tayo sa mga kalaban kasi sila na yung mananalo. Uh, GG na to. Talo na tayo. Ano? So, if there is a proposal already, then there is already a crime considered as proposal to commit treason. Ano? Kapag si tao na pinag-proposan nung crime na yon accepted it, then that is already a crime under Article 115 which is conspiracy. Pero for example, hindi pumayag yung kinausap niyang tao, siya lang talaga, then the crime committed is proposal to commit treason. Okay? Next crime that we will be talking about is the misprision of treason. Ano nga ba yung misprision of treason? And misprision talks about concealment of knowledge. Na? Concealment of knowledge. Meron kang alam, hindi mo sinabi. Okay? Often are considered as treason. Let's look into the elements. Ano? Kasi importante pag-usapan natin yung elements natin. Element number one, offender must owe allegiance to the government and he is not a foreigner. Okay? So kung ikaw ay, alam nyo naman yung uh, required to owe or to pay allegiance to the government, Filipino citizen, resident, uh, alien. So sila yung kumbaga is individuals who owes allegiance to the government. Na? 
Another element is that he has knowledge of conspiracy to commit treasons against the government. Dapat meron siyang nalaman or meron siyang kaalaman na merong mga tao na nagbabalak na mag-commit ng treason against the government. Yun yung pangalawang elements. Number three elements, the way most important elements is that he conceals or does not de- uh, disclose the information that he know, na he possess. To, he, dis, he did not disclose those to the governor, to the fiscal of the province, to the mayor, to the fiscal of, this, uh, of the city, which he resides. Then, doon na siya magkakaroon ng tinatawag nating misprision treason. So, let's look into the first example na sabi natin kanina. Si Pedro ay gustong magtaksil na sa bayan. So, gusto niya ng kalabanin ng sarili niyang bayan at kumampi na lang sa mga kalaban. Prinopose niya ito kay Mario. Sabi niya, ano pare, ito uh, ang balak ko, kakampi na ako sa kalaban, hindi ka na, sumama ka na. Si Mario, no, decline. Nag-decline siya. Sabi niya, hindi pare, hindi ko, hindi ko gagawin yan. No, kahit papano, Pilipino ako. So, uh, nireject niya yung proposal. Pedro committed what crime? Article 115 proposal, no? Ngayon, si Mario meron bang crime na na-commit? Wala pa. However, no, if Mario did not disclose, no, alam niya na si Pedro ay nagbabalak na mag sa bayan, no, pero hindi niya dinisclose, hindi niya pinaalam yung kanyang nalaman no, tungkol sa balak ni Pedro sa governor, sa fiscal ng probinsya, or hindi kaya sa mayor ng city niya or municipality niya or sa fiscal ng municipality niya na kung saan siya nakatira, then doon magkakaroon ng crime si Mario, which is misprision treason. Kasi pag ikaw ay may nasagap na impormasyon, may nalaman na may mga taong balak traidori ng ating bansa in, turn, in times of war at hindi mo ito pinaalam agad sa otoridad, hindi mo pinaalam sa governor ninyo, hindi mo pinaalam sa fiscal ng, ng probinsya nyo, sa mayor or sa fiscal ng munisipi, uh, munisipyo ninyo, jaan ka magkakaroon ng tinatawag nating criminal liability and the crime na isasampa sa'yo is misprision, treason. Na? Uh, treason, I should say. So, ito is excluded dito yung mga foreigner. Ano? For example, si Mr. John is uh, American citizen. Tapos sabi sa kanya ni Pedro, since mag-best friend sila, Hey, I, I want to fight the government of the Philippines and uh, go with China. I want to support China in this war. But since Mr. John is an American citizen and he is not considered, uh, he is not yet considered as Uh, resident alien then Mr. Jan has no obligation ano? wala siyang obligasyon na uh, tawag doon wala siyang obligasyon na ipaalam iyon sa governor sa fisc sa otoridad no? at hindi siya pwedeng masampahan ng kasong misprision treason Number one, because the elements of misprision treason is that sabi doon uh, the offender must not be a foreigner No? He must be a person who owes allegiance to the government and yung mga taong uh, nag-oo, nag, may, merong uh, dapat uh, nagbibigay ng katapatan sa gobyerno natin is either you are a Filipino citizen or you are a resident alien. Okay? So, uh, I do hope uh, I was able to impart the valuable knowledge. Ano? Kung may napulot kayo sa lecture natin ngayon, pindutin nyo yung like or share ninyo para ma- ma- palawak pa natin ang ating uh, scope, ng coverage ng ating lecture. Okay? So, uh, that's it. Kung meron kayong katanungan, reaction, comment dito sa lecture natin, comment lang kayo sa baba. At ang tabayanan nyo yung mga iba pa nating lecture sa, revi- sa book 2 no? na i-upload pa natin. So, that's it for today guys. Salamat sa inyong pakikinig. Paalam!